Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well today. Well, today I have another Bath & Body Works fall haul to share with you. This video is pretty much everything but candles. I have a lot of candle accessories. They have really so many cute candle accessories. I have the new fall body care, pocket back holders, wallflowers, a couple pocket backs, and some fall hand soaps. And I am just thrilled with all of the cuteness that they have released thus far. It's only the beginning of August and I am definitely in the fall spirit. I know some of you may not be ready for fall yet, so just bookmark this video for later and come back when you are in the mood. As I mentioned in my fall candle haul video, and if you missed that one, I'll leave a link below. I have already decorated my house for fall. I've got pumpkins and pumpkins and pumpkins. So I'm really excited to add these new accessories to my decorations as well. Let me know in the comments below what you have been picking up thus far from Bath & Body Works. I just think the packaging of the new body care is so cute. Y'all seem to have loved those photos on Instagram. So let me know what y'all think of the new fragrances. There's been so many new releases. As with most of my haul videos, this isn't just one trip to the store. This is multiple trips into the store, probably an on online order, some exchanges, and I definitely was able to use up a lot of my rewards coupons that I have been saving up specifically for fall, so that's been exciting. As with all my haul videos, I will show you the item up close to talk about the scent, if it has a scent, show you the details of the item. Really excited about this one, so if you're interested in seeing my haul and hearing my thoughts, Let's get started. Okie dokie, where to start? Well, let's start with the pocket back holders. Super, super cute little fox palm pocket back holder. You can see its little face and its nose and look at this little floppy freaking tail. Is that not the cutest? It's attached, actually sort of separate and attached like this. So it's super floppy, I love it. And then it has the little gold clip here. I took the price tag off of it for some reason, so I'll do a slide screen with how much it cost. And just to compare it to last year's, you can actually see that last year's Fox was quite a bit larger. This one is much smaller in comparison. This one is a bit more orange. This one is a bit more red. So you kind of have a red Fox and an orange Fox. If you're like me and you sort of have started to collect the little palm ones, I just wanted to let you know about that because most of the palm ones thus far have all been about this size. They've pretty much kept to this size and shape and this one is like I said quite a bit smaller but I think they're both really cute let me know in the comments below which one you like better do you like last year's or do you like this year's fox the next pocket bag holder I picked up is this adorable little bear now listen I mean, it snores. Why do you need a snoring pocket back holder? I don't know, but it's super cute. This one is $10.95, and look at its little toes. For some reason, I think the little toes and the little hands are so cute. You see that it has the speaker in the back, and you kind of see the hair, and then, of course, the pocket back goes inside like this, so you would be able to see the label, and I just think it's so cute. So cute. When I first saw this in the store, I was like, well, do I really need a bear pocket back holder that snores? And then I went back and decided I did. So, <laughs> the other pocket back holder I picked up is this super cute squirrel. This one has the little palm tail. So it has this sort of big fluffy tail. I really like the detail in the eyes. It's sort of like these little gold eyes. And then what's super cute about this one as well is it has a little acorn light. I think that's so cute, especially if you have this on the outside of your purse or if you maybe attach keys to it. You know, you could turn on this little light and you could see your key when you're trying to open your door. I just think it's really pretty. So the specialty about this one is it lights up. This one is $9.95. You could definitely use your rewards coupon for any of these. They were all less than the $16.50. Get a couple of them, use a 20% off, 10 off 30. 10 off 40, something like that. I really have become a fan of these cute pocket buck holders. I guess that makes me, and I've said this in many videos, a kid at heart, but that's okay with me. I just, I love it. So what do y'all think about these? Do you like the cutesy pocket back holders or do you just prefer like the plain and simple ones? Speaking of pocket backs, I did pick up two of the fall pocket backs. I picked up pumpkin cupcake, which is a really delicious bakery, slightly spiced pumpkin scent. And then I picked up the Champagne Apple and Honey. I really like the labels of these. I think they're really pretty. Moving into some hand soaps that I picked up. I was going through my hand soaps and if y'all saw my semi-annual sale haul, you may think, why in the world do you need more hand soaps? Well, 
pretty much I think all of those scents are summer or spring scents and I really didn't have many fall scents at all in hand soap so I decided to pick up these five thus far. The first one I have is Pumpkin Apple. This is a classic Bath & Body Works scent. I absolutely love it. It's perfect for now all the way through September in my opinion. This is Red Delicious Apples, Fall Pumpkin, and Clove Buds. It's just quintessential Bath & Body Works scent and I really like the chalkboard look here. It does sort of have a raised texture on it so it kind of feels, you can kind of see it a little bit here. There's a little bit of this sort of actual chalkboard look to these labels and I just think they're so cool looking. I also picked up the Foaming Hand Soap and Crisp Morning Air. I absolutely love this scent and hand soap. It is so fresh and slightly sweet. The notes are fresh pine, juniper, and juicy pear. And I really, really wish the candle would smell like this. If you've only ever smelled the Crisp Morning Air candle, the candle is actually a heavier kind of cologne scent. This soap does not smell like the candle at all. So if you don't like the candle, still maybe you would like the hand soap because I love the hand soap scent. It reminds me of the Sweater Weather Body Care and also Blue Orchard and Blue Skies or Apple Orchard and Blue Skies, something body care that came out a couple years ago. It's just fall fresh, but there's also a nice sweetness and a little bit of a juiciness from the pear and I just absolutely love this scent. I also picked up Cozy Vanilla Cream. This is all about fall, y'all. I mean, that just sounds like something I would say, doesn't it? It's all about fall, y'all. I love the little happy white pumpkin and it's kind of smirk. I think it's super cute. The notes are whipped frosting, sweet cream, and vanilla bean. And this one is a really nice creamy vanilla scent. It doesn't have any spice. It doesn't have any pumpkin. It's just a nice creamy vanilla. So if you like your just basic vanilla scents, then you're going to like this one. And then I ended up picking up two sweater weathers. I picked this one up in the fam in the foaming hand soap before I saw the deep cleansing soap. So I might take the foaming back and pick up another deep cleansing in sweater weather. I think the packaging of this particular line is pretty. You got the like picturesque fall vibe there. The notes are sage, eucalyptus, and fresh woods, and the hand soap of Sweater Weather smells just like the candle. I absolutely love this scent. It's refreshing, invigorating, fall fresh, earthy. It's just amazing, and I'm so glad the actual hand soap matches the candle. The body care in Sweater Weather doesn't match the candle but it's still a good scent in its own. But this does match the candle and I love it. And then I picked up the Sweater Weather Deep Cleansing Hand Soap. Really happy to see some deep cleansing back. I feel like we've gotten a lot of foaming hand soap and then the gel soap, which I did not personally care for the gel form that they've had out. I just didn't like that at all. So I'm really happy to see the deep cleansing back and it does look like there are some little beads. I really like the packaging of these. I think it's really, really pretty and just sort of elegant and again I'm really happy to see some deep cleansing so I'll probably will take this one back and exchange it for another one of these and then I picked up a sweet cinnamon pumpkin I really like the label on this one look at all of those festive pumpkins and you can see the little gold design here I love the orange that they've chosen for the color of the soap this is harvest pumpkin spice clove and sugar cane and of course sweet cinnamon pumpkin is just a classic Bath and Body Works fall scent I have really been loving it this season I typically like it in moderation every year but this year I'm really feeling it this year I know some people get tired of it but you know it's a classic for a reason it's a really warm heavy clove spicy cinnamon pumpkin scent there's a nice sort of woodsy earthiness that grounds it and it's just really really lovely scent so happy to have it in hand soap form okie dokie let's move into some of the candle accessories I'm sorry there's a glare I picked up this cute little Woodlands creature raised candle sleeve. It's really cute. I just want to kind of show the details. Hopefully the glare isn't too bad. You've got this cute deer and a forest on one side. You've got some super cute little mushrooms. You've got a bear, some trees. You've got more trees on this side with mushrooms. You've got the super cute little cardinal here, sunflowers, and then you have the fox and the squirrel which are really cute. This is $15.95, so you can use a reward coupon, which is what I did to pick it up. I do feel like these have all increased in price since last year by probably about a dollar. I just want to kind of show it to you a little farther away to give you that effect, and I think the glare is better. So yeah, I think it's really cute, especially if you like this kind of look. I think you could use this, you know, for starting now all the way through the end of fall. And then just to show you what it looks like with a candle inside, 
you can see it fits inside very nicely. So yeah, I think that it's really cute. And again, it's nice to be able to get something like this with our rewards coupons. I also picked up this other raised candle sleeve. This one is also $15.95. And I just think that this is so pretty with all of the colorful leaves. You've got red and orange and yellow and green on the tree limbs here. And it just goes all the way around. And I just think it's really pretty. And just to show you what it looks like with the candle inside, really pretty. I like it a lot, actually. I think I like this one better than the Woodland Creatures, just personally. But I like both of them. So, yeah, again, another one I was able to use a free reward coupon on. So, that was nice. And next, we have the super cute fox raised candle pedestal. This one is $29.95, so $30. So if you have a 10 off 30 or 20% off or 10 off 40, this will be good. So you have the sort of wood log here. And of course, the candle sits on top, which I'll show you what it looks like in a second. And then you have the super cute fox. This one is glittery. You know, if you rub on it, you do get a little bit of glitter on your hands, but it's not super glitter shedding like the one from last year as long as you don't like touch it too much you're fine i love its cute little face and i just think it's really pretty let me show you what it looks like with a candle on top so you can you know display the candle name or the label or you could just have something like this the gray doesn't really match it but you get the point and then just to show you the comparison to last year's and the difference of color here you go this year's is this bronze sort of coppered look and last year's is a yellow gold look. Now this might appear a little silver on camera. It is more of a yellow gold. So let me know also in the comments below, which one do you like better? Do you like the coppered bronzy look of this one or do you prefer the yellow gold? I actually like them both. If both of these were in the store at the same time and they weren't two separate years, I probably would have picked this one up before I picked this one up. But since this one came out last year and I already have it, then you know I already have it. So also just to show you, last year this one cost $26.50. So the price has increased by $3. So last year $26.50, this year $29.50, a $3 price increase in a year for the exact same design, the exact same thing. Like they feel the same weight. They don't feel any different as far as weight or construction goes and it's just a different paint so do with that information as you please <laughs> i thought i'd let you know that but this year in addition to the fox candle holder we also got this super cute matching hand soap holder this year and it is just so cute so this one also has the log except here you can put a hand soap so let me show you what that looks like you can put the hand soap here just Shantae on Instagram also had a really cool idea and you could also put a fragrance mist in it if you wanted to if you wanted to have something like that and display in your bathroom and you didn't want to use the hand soaps of course the foaming hand soaps fit very perfectly in here and then here's what the deep cleansing there's a bit of space but it still works just fine yeah. i also like the fact that this is ceramic and that this isn't going to rust a lot of the metal hand soap holders if they're metal at the bottom over time they tend to rust just because you know your your hands are probably wet when you're touching the soap and it's just around the sink area is wet so these won't rust which is really nice and the bottom doesn't have any glitter so that shouldn't shed out but then you also do have the drip holes here so if you you know do get some water on the actual hand soap that will go through and it won't like hopefully mess up the inside of this but yeah i think it's cute let me know what you think are you going to pick one of these up so let's talk about the price this one's 16.95 which is a little bit disappointing there has been several items that bath and body works has basically put 45 cents more expensive than you can use a reward coupon for and so what i mean if you're not familiar with the rewards program it's still testing in certain areas but you spend a certain amount of money and you get a reward coupon that you can get a free item up to 16.50 i use most of my rewards coupons buying the candle accessories the hand soap holders things like this but there's been several items like this that last year would have cost 16.50 and it does feel very intentional that they raise these prices to 16.95 like this would have been great to use a reward coupon on but i do feel like that 45 cent it just nags at me a little bit like come on y'all like <laughs> This could have been $16.50. It would have been nice to be able to use a rewards coupon, but that's okay. I picked up other things instead. 
So let me know what y'all think about that. I, I do feel like there's been several items that have been just 45 cents, a little bit more expensive. <laughs> so that little nagging 45 cents. And you can't just pay the difference. So that's the other thing. Like I would be willing to use a reward coupon and give them 45 cents extra for this little guy. But that doesn't work that way. They don't allow that. So now anyway, let me quit rambling. What do y'all think of this set? I think it's absolutely adorable. I love them, love them, love them. And last but certainly not least, as far as the candle accessories, I picked up the super cute squirrel. Now this one is a really nice size and I think it's just so adorable. You have a little squirrel trying to get the acorn right here, which is really cute. I love it. It's, you have the little tree log, you have acorns going all around it, and then you have the leaves. And then of course the candle sits on top. This one is priced at $29.95 as well. So it is the same price as the Fox and they are about the same height, just so you can see sort of what it would look like with a candle. There you go. It is taller than a body cream. So if you're just having a certain space that you wanna put it in. As far as the color, it is sort of a brown gold or maybe it's just sort of a brown color. You can see compared to the Fox, which is a more coppery kind of color. And then here I'll even pull in the Fox from last year. You can see this one is the yellow gold. So this one is sort of in the middle. It's not yellow, but it's not as coppery and it just sort of has a brown color. I like the fact that it's not like glittery all the way around. The only thing that's glittery is the actual squirrel. And yeah, I think it's just really pretty. I love it. I absolutely love it. If you can get your hands on a 10 off 30 coupon, this would be great for that. You could get one of these in a pocket bag or something like that. It's really well made as well. It's nice and sturdy. The whole thing is ceramic and it seems to be like one solid piece of like pottery and ceramic. So yeah, it's just really nice and I love it. I love it. I love it. I think it's really cute. I'm really hoping that we get a hedgehog one next year. <laughs> If anyone from Bath and Body Works just happens to glance at this video and really I think a super cute hedgehog candle holder would be super cute. You know, I absolutely love hedgehogs and I feel like we had a lot of hedgehogs last year on the packaging and this year not so much. We've got squirrels and foxes but no hedgehogs. So maybe next year we'll get a hedgehog one. Let me know what y'all think of the different candle pedestals. I really want to hear your thoughts on them. I'm really happy with all of them. Before we move into the body care, I have two wallflower bulbs here. I picked up the pumpkin apple and the sweet cinnamon pumpkin again i've really been feeling sweet cinnamon pumpkin this year these labels are super cute they match the candle line and then pumpkin apple two classic bath and body works fall scents love them all right i picked up a lot of body care most of this was actually free for me using up rewards coupons i had quite a few rewards coupons that i wanted to use up i was really hoping to pick up a lot of halloween and fall items and i did and body care so yeah they definitely come in good use i love the rewards program i hope that it can go nationwide soon the first item i have here is the glowing body scrub and the champagne apple and honey and i think the packaging on this is really pretty you see all the gold accents. It sort of has a very late summer, early fall look to it. There's sort of an elegance to it, which I like. This part of the packaging reminds me of like the champagne toast and some of the winter body care that came out last year. And then you just sort of have this added design here, which I think is really pretty. Champagne Apple and Honey is a returning body care fragrance. It's Pink Lady Apple, Sparkling Champagne, Jasmine Honey, and Autumn Woods. And I really love my body scrubs, especially in the fall and winter, especially when the weather starts getting colder. And I've never tried their glowing body scrubs. So I know that there's shimmer in it. You can see here in the lid that there's sort of a silvery shimmer inside of here. So I assume that some of that shimmer might stay on your skin after you used it. The actual consistency of it is a really fine grain scrub. You can actually see on my finger here that the shimmer that's sort of left behind. So it might be too glowing for me, but we'll see what happens. But it's very fine. It's not a very coarse scrub. So if you like a scrub that's a bit finer and not as coarse, I love a good coarse salt scrub, but this is also nice. The scent itself is a really nice sweet apple scent. There's a little bit of a floral undertone. It's just really nice. Again, great for the end of summer, the beginning of fall. 
The next thing I picked up is the Lavender and Bloom Shower Gel. I think the packaging is really pretty, actually. The notes of this scent are Lavender Fields, Lee of the Valley, and Sun Washed Driftwood. And this is a really nice scent, but sort of different than I thought it might smell. The lavender itself, I feel like, is a little bit soapy and clean. There also is a floral undertone, but then there is this sort of salty beach vibe. I almost feel like I get a little bit of like a coconut, like a salted coconut. So it does make me think it's sort of the end of summer because of that little bit of a beachy vibe. It's not a heavy or an herbal lavender scent at all. It is definitely more clean, soapy, but with that slight salty floral aspect. And it's nice. I'm not in love with it, but I do like it. I picked up a cream and bonfire bash. This is the third year this scent has returned and it's absolutely amazing. I highly, highly recommend this scent if you've yet to try it. I think it sold out the first year. Last year it was really popular as well and I'm really glad they brought it back. The packaging is cute. I like the gray and the different leaves. It's not my favorite packaging of the packaging that we have here, but it's okay. The notes are vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk, and this just smells like a high-end cologne or unisex perfume to me. The scent lasts a long time on my skin. The dry down is just so it's sophisticated and warm and cozy, and you think Bonfire Bash, it doesn't smell like a fire pit. It doesn't smell like a fireplace at all. But there's this warm coziness to it that does sort of make you think of colder weather. For me, I love it in October, especially when the nights are finally starting to get a bit cool. And I think it makes me think of Halloween. Like, I just love it. I really wish they would come out with a candle and a hand soap and pretty much everything in this scent because it's absolutely fabulous. I highly, highly recommend this if you haven't tried it. I still have shower gel left over from last year, so I didn't pick up the shower gel, but I definitely wanted another cream. I also picked up the Fine Fragrance Mist and another glowing body scrub in sunset glow again both of these were used with my free rewards coupons so this is the new sort of signature body care scent that they have released and look at the packaging i think it's absolutely gorgeous like that sunset was sort of the night sky and the little sparkles coming down i think it's so pretty the notes are fresh coconut, sparkling cherry seltzer, dreamy moonflower, and caramelized vanilla. And I really love this scent. This is another wonderful end of summer scent. It is just really fabulous. You definitely get the cherry in this. It's not sickeningly sweet cherry. It's not like overpowering syrupy cherry. It's a creamy cherry. You do get sort of a little bit of a creamy coconut mixed with this sweet cherry, mixed with some vanilla. To me, this scent is really good for almost anyone. It's not what I would consider one of their playful and fun fruity scents, but it's not like super sophisticated either. It's sort of in the middle. When I sniff it, I do get sort of this little bit of a playfulness and the fruit comes through and it's sort of bright, but then there's also other notes that make it a little bit more sophisticated a little bit more nuanced. There is this perfumed aspect, the floral aspect, but the, the notes all play together so nicely. It's just really beautiful. Check it out. I don't think the cherry is so overpowering that it dominates the scent. It's, I am definitely going to go back and probably pick up the entire line or at least a shower gel and a cream and a lotion or something like that at some point. They have a pretty large selection of products in this scent. I'll do a slide screen here of all the products that I've seen thus far. So you really get a wide selection. I had picked this up, the glowing scrub up, before I picked this one up. I don't know that I necessarily necessarily need two so I might take this scrub back and exchange it for like a cream or something like that but yeah let me know below what you think of Sunset Glow I know this isn't like a super detailed review I haven't really used it enough to give that kind of review but I, overall I really am impressed with this scent the next thing that I picked up is this sea salt body scrub in the aromatherapy sleep line so this is part of the new sleep aromatherapy which they just released the notes are sage geranium and pacific coast lavender harvested from northern california it says made with california lavender oil which inspires tranquility sage oil which promotes mental balance and geranium oil which soothes the mind this is a sea salt body scrub which is described as being a renewing scrub gently exfoliates with purifying sea salt leaving skin feeling soft smooth and refreshed 
This cost $16.50, so I was able to use a reward coupon to pick this up, and I think it's a really nice reward item. This is 17 ounces, and it's quite hefty. So let's open it up here. I have sort of opened it a little bit. It comes with a protective lid here, so make sure that if you pick it up, yours has that. And you can see it's just really pretty, like, it's very thick. I mean, look at that. I can't, like, put my finger down in it. Um, it looks like there's quite a bit of liquid at the bottom here. And then there's this sea salt here. This is a fine sea salt for sure. It isn't super thick and coarse. You can see it's a very fine sea salt. It's not a coarse sea salt. The scent is very clean, herbal, and even sort of slightly medicinal. It is very calming and very relaxing. And for lack of a better word, it smells very real. It smells like real essential oils versus artificial fragrance. So it has this sort of very earthy aromatherapy vibe, which you would kind of expect from an aromatherapy scent from them. I'm really loving it. Yeah, just taking really deep whiffs of the scent. It's very refreshing and relaxing and just calming. I do feel like a little bit calmer now. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm really excited to use this. Again, it's a pretty big size here. So you're getting a lot for your money. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to giving this a try. And the scent is just lovely. So let me know if y'all tried this one and what you think. There's actually quite a few new aromatherapy products. They sort of changed the packaging. This one was the only one that I felt like I needed to pick up. But let me know if you tried any of the others and what your thoughts are. And lastly, but certainly not least, we have the super duper cute chalkboard designed bakery-esque body care and i'll do a slide screen here of the full collection there is also strawberry pound cake and sparkling plum prosecco in this collection so five cents in total these are the ones that I picked up. I ended up getting these all with reward coupons. When I said I had a lot of reward coupons saved up, I meant it. I think that even the sales associate at the store was pretty shocked with how many I had. She was like, how did you get that many? I said, well, I clearly shop here too much. <laughs> Let me zoom in here on the labels. And again, apologies for the slight glare. This one is Sugar Cherry Crisp. I mean, look at that. Is that not darling with the cherries and the cherry pie? And then you sort of have this cherry danish here. This chalkboard look is just so pretty. I absolutely love it. The notes are Bright Cherry Delight, Crumbled Graham Cracker, and Spun Vanilla Sugar. And I really like this one. To me, this is the most bakery of all of the other scents in this collection. You definitely get the cherry. It's not the same cherry as in Sunset Glow. That cherry is more of a sort of evanescent kind of cherry. This one is more of, it's a little bit more syrupy, a little bit more sweet, definitely more of a, a bakery cherry. And you do get a lot of like a graham cracker crust. It's a heavier bakery scent. It's really evenly balanced between that cherry and the bakery, and it's definitely the most edible. So especially if you like a bakery cherry scent, I think that you're really going to love this one. I also picked up the Vanilla Mocha Cafe. Let's zoom in here and take a closer look at the label. Oh, look at that. I don't even drink coffee, and I love that. Love the look of the coffee beans, and it's just so pretty in my opinion. Well done whoever did this, these labels or whatever team did these labels. They are perfect. The notes are cozy cappuccino, vanilla orchid, and white tonka bean. And I think this one might be my favorite of the bunch. Before I put it on my skin, I do get quite a bit of the coffee. But the dry down on my skin, I don't get as much of the coffee. It does smell like a vanilla mocha. There's a nice amount of vanilla. You get that creamy tonka bean. You get sort of a musky undertone and then the coffee sort of goes away at least on my skin once I once it dries down it ends up smelling quite sophisticated in my opinion and it kind of makes me think of like a more conceptual kind of Tom Ford kind of coffee vanilla kind of scent or even like a Joe Malone scent where it's like it's very unisex and I think this one actually ends up being very sophisticated versus like edible or drinkable at least on the dry down on my skin. So I really 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 like this one a lot. This one is a little bit lighter though on my skin. It doesn't have the longevity that the Sugar Cherry Crisp does. And then lastly but certainly not least I picked up the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. Again, let's take a close look at this beautiful label. Those pumpkins, the tiny marshmallows, the little latte. Oh, 
it's just so cute. I absolutely love this packaging. You know I was going to have to say it at least four or five or six or seven or eight times. The notes are pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallows, creamy sandalwood, and praline musk. And this is a returning scent, but, and y'all let me know what you think. This scent smells sweeter to me this year than it has in past years. Especially the initial whiff in the bottle and when I initially put it on my skin, I get more of the praline. I get more of that sort of sweetened kind of caramel. It's not overly sweet, but I do get more sweetness and edibleness and I feel like I have in past years with this scent where the muskiness is what really came through the most for me. On dry down, the sweetness does dial down quite a bit on this one and it smells closer to what I remember from past years. But at least those initial whiffs, I feel like I get more sweetness, more praline. It's just a really nice conceptual sweetened pumpkin vanilla scent in my opinion. This one's always leaned more like conceptual body care versus actually smelling like a marshmallow pumpkin latte. And yeah, I'm just really enjoying it this year. I think this might be the first year that I've actually picked it up and purchased it. So let me know what y'all think about this collection in general. I mean, just look at them all lined up here. Aren't they beautiful? And let me just show you the mist as well. It keeps with the same design. I just think they're so pretty so 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 cute and it even has like a little design on the back here and then here is the sugar cherry crisp so pretty whoever designed these like again well done i think they are just super super cute Okie dokie, y'all. That is it. That is my Bath and Body Works Everything But Candles Fall Haul. If you miss my candle fall haul, I will leave the link below, so check that out. Overall, I am really impressed thus far with everything that they have put out this year. I don't normally buy as much body care. In fact, I've been trying really hard not to buy any new body care, but this year, just as a whole, they have really sucked me in. I feel like they brought us a lot of really great scents, a lot of great packaging. I'm really excited about all the different fragrance they've had this year. Let me know which collection is your favorite as far as packaging, which scent are you loving the most? I really wanna hear your comments below. Let me know if you picked up anything that I haven't that maybe I should go back and give a sniff. If you watch this video in its entirety, leave me a another fall emoji below. Maybe something that makes you think of late summer, early fall, or a squirrel, or a fox, or a sunflower, or cherries, or pumpkins, or mochas. I mean, there's just so many different things here. Leave an emoji below that represents sort of what you see here in this haul. I always love to interact with y'all in that way. It's just fun to see what emojis you find. And it's just nice to also kind of see who sticks around and to see your faces for those who don't want to write or don't feel like writing a full comment. If you like this video or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you like to see other videos like this, please subscribe. I am definitely going to have a really nice sized <laughs> Halloween haul coming up very soon. I also have a Yankee Candle haul as well as vendor wax haul as well as candle empties and body care empties so stay tuned for those and if you're not subscribed would love to have you thank you as always for all of your support all of your likes and comments and of course just watching the video and listening to me ramble i greatly appreciate each and every one of you i hope you have a fabulous rest of your day bye